Yes, good morning and welcome to Straight Up for today, 3rd of October, Wednesday the 3rd of October. And uh, you know that we broadcast live, New Stock 93 FM, broadcast live from the Mona campus of the University of West Indies, and we are heard everywhere. And uh, I'm your host, Jerry Small, what's up, Straight Up? Uh, it's very good to hear, um, always just an announcement and a call. Similarly, what that, um, Bishop Gregory is saying, the government agencies and functionaries and the civic society functionaries must not just call and make, for things and make statements, but take action. But I think um, we can accept this call for them. Miss, Mrs. Goburn, I think she is president of the Trelawney uh, Neighborhood Watch. I think it's an association of neighborhood watches for Trelawney. She has called for all of the neighborhood watches in Trelawney to step up their activity, step up their activity and their vigilance and their organizing, organizing and patrolling effectively. And what better time? Because here it is again, just after this, uh, after the finding of these bo- the, the bodies of these two small boys and the mob violence that took a life and destroyed another one and destroyed a house in Trelawney. Here it is a lady and her sales companion are working a sales district in Trelawney and she is abducted and murdered. Abducted and murdered on the job looking a looking a living. She do, she hasn't you know, jobs are hard to find so she helps to she helps to make a job for herself by taking on a sales project, you know, selling things you know, marketing people who go around with their products and sell and they get a commission. She is making work for herself and here it is. She and her company and they split up and go into two different directions in a neighborhood, working house to house, soliciting sales from people. And one of the people whom she approaches abducts her and ties her up and apparently rapes her and kills her and gags her before doing so, so that he can get away and act as if he was somewhere else. So that is why, especially Mrs. Goburn in Trelawney, the president of the Trelawney neighborhood watches, is calling for increased action. Now the other thing is this, you know when cocaine washes up on a beach in Jamaica, it's a dangerous situation because they have people from all directions scrambling to get some of this coke that they can go and buy out the whole of court. I remember in Port Antonio about a decade ago, court stock was sold out in a couple of days because everybody from uh, the beach just down the road and the policemen uh, the, the, the commissioner of police had to transfer I think 100 policemen because most of them got involved in the scraping up of coke and the reselling of coke courts and every every different furniture store and every appliance store in a port and on a sold out in two days because available money money is available so when cocaine washes up on a beach it is dangerous who dispatched these two police cars two police cars unmarked police cars said that they, the, 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 the occupants said that they were bearing down upon the scene to apprehend this coke and to apprehend the people who might have it might have washed up too. And they're shooting out at each other and shot two policemen. I don't know if it's one policeman from each car. Who sent out these police cars? Were they sent out from the same source? If you are dispatching police cars, don't they supposed to know the each other a description? If you're dispatching me in a, in a, in a police car with Mrs. Sharon A. Webster, unmarked, and you're dispatching somebody else. They're supposed to tell us that their car is grey with a green bumper. And my car is white with a blue bumper. The license plate is such and such. Who dispatched these two police cars? Or were they dispatched? Or why were they moving with such dispatch? Is who sent them out? Why are they shooting at one another and they don't know of their presence in the area? One another presence. They don't know of their, their one another's identity. Are these policemen coming from widely scattered places where they don't know one another's face? Well, in a high-speed chase, you're not going to be used to see one another's face. But these people are trained to spot people. How do they know that these are two police cars? Were they sent out? And were they sent out from the same place? Were they dispatched like um, radar guns to go and earn the money and bring in? You know if a man go out to the radar gun and him not bring in enough food, he will lose that speed gun to somebody who is most pro- more productive. And down to the judge who is not bringing in enough fine at the traffic court, he won't get invited to the next cocktail party 
not to mention the Governor General Balls. He's going to figure out how the Governor General Balls even stay and how, how it sounds, the music there. Because they're not bringing in money at the traffic court. And yet you have some great judges at the traffic court. And because of their integrity, I suppose you can't touch them. But anyway, we're not casting aspersions, but why is it? Why, what kind of Keystone Cops? You know, Keystone Cops are the whole time coming and running for years. From in the 20s of the days of silent movies, where the police doing, uh, the American police um, doing a lot of foolish things. What kind of comedy it was? But this is a kind of key, Keystone Cops activity. I mean, it, mistakes can happen any time. And you have friendly fire killing people in war all the time. But most of the time, it is because of lack of coordination. The criminals coordinate better than we, the civilians, better than the police. And whether the criminals in high places or low places, they coordinate very well. I'm talking about that. Mr. Mike Henry and... Um, Mr. Mike Henry and Mr. Wang, otherwise known as Wang Jungle. They make Wang Jungle look like he wasn't trying when he got a chance. Make him look like a chicken. Because the JD Palm, the JD Palm, the JD, what is it, uh, 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 audit has started to come in. JD audit has started to come in, and it turns out that Mr. Wang's son, Russell Wang, an attorney was the attorney for China Harbor and he and his father were exchanging advice on how to frame the draft contract so you see how much um, hand in glove things can go Jamaica is the seventh largest harbor in the world it is well renowned and Mr. Mike Henry now tells us that China Harbor is the seventh largest engineering company in the world so there can be a little match up a little food can eat between the seven largest engineering companies, especially when it near the harbor. And the country, the seven largest harbor in the world that can harbor a lot of sharks, inland sharks, because you know that in Jamaica we have inland sharks. Otherwise, they wouldn't have the proverb that if a fish in the river, you know, river fish, different freshwater fish, go down a river bottom and tell us a shark down there. Don't bother argue with them and tell them a shark don't come, don't come in a freshwater and river. Just believe the freshwater tilapia. That shark is down there. So what to Jamaica being a seventh lar largest harbor in the world for sharks? You have shark all the way inland. And the sharks, either the sharks are surfacing or the sign of their um, eating of food is surfacing. Uh, the, 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 the past principal of the law school was being, is a principal, the head of the law school, the Norman Mann Law School, was being, uh, was being appointed of, as the Jamaican ambassador to the U.S., United States of America, Mr. Stephen Vassiani, I think it is. He had great plans to expand the capacity of the law school to train people. And he even identified $45 million to fund this plan to expand the training capacity of the law school. But some members of the legal fraternity are dismayed that you're going to be training so many lawyers and they're going to turn it into a, like a common thing. You know, it's too, too common going to come like a taxi driver. Everybody out there is a taxi driver. Everybody out there is a lawyer and have a law degree. Not going to be so exclusive. Probably going to have to scramble more for work. But I was out there running taxi for years and I never fret one day because I know so the best taxi man will always have work. And the best taxi man will always have more work than what them can handle. So the people who are doing their work well scarcely have to fret. Because if they even lose employment, they will make work for themselves. Or work will make them, work will find them. Work will seek you out if you are doing your work very well. Work will seek you out. But anyway, um, I understand that this, the, 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 the whole scheme and plan to expand the capacity of Norman Money Law School to bring in 130 people more into the training year has been shelved now that uh, Mr. Vashiani has, is not there again to drive this whole project of expansion and um, the exclusivity by exclusion will be I suppose maintained much to the pleasure of some of the lawyers out there who don't want too many lawyers in the 
pool. Don't want to many laws in the pool. pool. And maybe legal prices will go down, legal fees will go down and down. And legal fees will become more attainable by the ordinary Jamaican. Because of so many laws out there to become cheaper and cheaper for a ordinary Jamaican to get legal representation. Is this so or is this not so? Could you tell me please? Nobody will have an idea about that. You can call me and um, let us discuss this. Um, Damien Crawford, you know, what with the flood damage, the rain damage and the flood damage over the weekend, is admitting that um, showing my face is not sufficient. I have to find out who in the constituency can do what. Because apart from helping with roads and different things, people need work. So it is best to find out if there is anyone in the constituency who can do some of the work that is necessary. So you don't have to bring, be bringing in people from outside to do the work while people in there need, need jobs. And, it's, and as he says, it's difficult to tell somebody who has been living on a river bank in a concrete, stru on a, in a concrete structure for 30 years. It's difficult to tell them that they must, they must, they must move. You know, some people they are resisting from moving from this, the edge of a river bank because they have, invest, they have invested so much money in a concrete structure. How foolish is it to be building such a heavy concrete structure on a river bank? Even way up the hillside of a river bank is still susceptible. You know, because when the, when that hillside full of gravel and sand and loose rocks and that kind of thing, shale material, slate and all them things, when that gets soaked soaked by water for days and days, it becomes almost it becomes almost um, like, 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 like sand, you know, the whole light. Because you spend so much money living there and building a concrete structure, you don't want to move. Well, you saw somebody on TV, it was so stupid. But they are foolhardy. It's a kind of hardiness, you know, like a tough, but it's a foolhardy, not a wise hardy. And as Damien Crawford said, they must decide what the risks are. And what is a natural occurrence? We've been talking about that on this program for a couple of days. These are natural occurrences. These are not disasters, you know. River flooding is only we call it flood. The river just come down. We call it flood because it reach up to our toe them, our toe nail. I don't know, flood, that's a river course. So come to places in Jamaica are shaped by river course, by the flow of rivers in high, high time. Go down Hope Road, you pass Ligani, the first right turn is Ligani Avenue. You drive on Ligani Avenue and after a couple hundred yards you go down a deep incline. You drive for about 10 yards, about 30 feet and you're gone back up the side of another steep incline. That's a river bed. That's where Hope River used to run thousands of years ago. The whole of Ligani, Sandy Park, it was made by Hope River when it used to run down there. That's why it named Sandy Park. It's river sand down there. The gully down there is a whole time river bed. It used to be Hope River bed. It run right down um, the side of Hope Road about a couple hundred feet away from Hope Road. It run through Sanders, behind Sanders. It run across East King's House Road, where people wash one of them car all the while. Why they, why they wash one and go way down to the harbor and drown? Because that's the original course of Hope Road thousands of years ago. Change course. The rivers change course from time to time. It's just a few thousand years now it's been running down behind Augustown. And sometimes it will change back again to down Hope Road. Why do you think the whole of King's House are full of well? Deep water well. Why Devon House full of well? Why the whole of that course along there is full of deep water well? It's all river course. Go right down all through Grove Road and them places. Go down through Sandy Gully and Kasha Park. So these things are not natural disasters. It's, disaster. it's human disaster. It's nature move from time to time. Sometimes your arm sweat more than, it, than your face. And sometimes your face sweat more than your arm. All right is getting rid of waste matter through the water, carrying out the things out of your body. And um, so it is so. Damon Crawford have to be grappling with one in the people say, you better you move, but people say them now nah, move because they spend money upon them house over the years. So it is. And when you finish now you want the MP or you want somebody to come build back your house here. Everybody has a right to land. You don't have no right for nobody building a house here. You get a piece of land, you you did supposed to build a house. Every human being in the, on the face of the earth have a right to land. Every human being. You don't have no right for nobody to come build a house, come give. By the way, the Jackie Bell and the Dennis Day, the memorial, every year there's a memorial football match for those two great Jamaican footballers who died in a car crash, I think it was in Mexico, years ago. What were they attending? Some rounds of the World Cup or something like that. So every year there's a memorial for them for going on for years now. Uh, organized by Jackie Bell's widow, 
and people like Busy Campbell. So it will be going on this year, and one of the teams, you know, is usually personalities and celebrities playing football against one another. Jackie Bell Memorial Football Tournament. And this year, one of the teams will be led by Usain Bolt. You know, Usain Bolt loves football. So one of the teams will be led by Usain Bolt. This will, will this increase the interest, interest in the t tournament and proceeds. The proceeds that is raised by the tournament will be used to help basic schools all over Jamaica, but especially to finish the one that was started in Malvan, as Busy said, on Labor Day. So the proceeds will finish the Malvan basic school and the recite will help the other basic school at the Mount Phil. And uh, this year they will be honoring Tony James, a former president of the Jamaica Football Federation, Tony James from Manchester, also Mr. Garrison, a football organizer from Arnett Gardens and some other more and some other people. And um been listening for days now all over the internet and all over the news media and uh and pub and the, the you know the media all over the world, electronic media and otherwise. The interview, long, long interview with Lee Malvo, <coughs> that young Jamaican who was convicted at seventeen for a serial killing that he and he and his um he and his handler, guy by the name uh, Mohammed, carried out about ten years ago in America. Thirteen shootings that resulted in the death of ten people and wounding of others. So he has been talking ten years after being convicted and serving a lifetime sentence with no chance of coming out, no parole. Been listening to him talking, you know. Obviously has been doing a lot of reading. Obviously was intelligent, born most human beings, all human beings are born intelligent. And obviously was intelligent from him was young. Intelligent and sensitive. And that's the danger, you know. The sensitivity that goes along with intelligence. It's not a danger, but that's the vulnerability. The intelligence that goes along with the sensitivity that goes along with intelligence. There is a vulner vulnerability that, that can that can present when people go through unfortunate uh, experiences. The sensitivity can um, create other complications. So this youth area here, I'm talking at the age of 27 years now. Obviously, having read a lot and understood a lot, after having understood a lot by the age of 17, he had already understood a lot by that age. But they already also had misunderstood too. So a couple of days ago, he says, boy, I don't make no sense for him to apologize. Later on in the interview, he has said that he will apologize, although he, don't, he know that it won't make much difference. And um, Lee, Lee Malvo is a product of the Jamaican factory. But well, it's not the Sprint factory of Jamaica this time. It's a product of the factory of Jamaica that produced so many other twisted human beings. All of us can be straightened out. But one thing we know, it is so easy and common to be twisted by the Jamaican experience, but yet we must not be sorry for ourselves. You know? Not for a moment. Must be we sorry for ourselves. Because sorry for yourself don't help. Yes, love yourself, yes, and take care of yourself. And realize what has happened to you, but don't bother waste time being sorry for yourself. Better you're sorry for somebody else. Don't, there's no need or no use or any virtue in being sorry for yourself. Yes, love yourself and um, have empathy and sympathy, yes. Yes, we uh, have a special session of the cultural music, the trademark music of Jamaica today. Special session today. So we're going to bite off a piece of about five pieces of music to demonstrate something. Very special session. And um, it, is, it ties into something else, but later we will we'll hear about that. Also, we're going, uh, we have resumed yesterday the playing of the excerpts from Dr. Marcia Father's book. Streaming. The book that is telling us about the use of social media in the modern times, by, especially by young people. And how useful it is, social media, Facebook and all those things, Twitter, Facebook and all those things. So we'll play another excerpt today. Excerpt number six, chapter six. And, uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Small, how are you, sir? How are you doing, Mommy? You the music I play for yesterday? Yes, sir. I love to hear the banjo brush, you know. You love to hear it when them a brush the banjo? Yeah, that is the thing I love. May I tell you, ma'am? Mr. Small, so many things to talk about but only a little bit I can touch. This water thing, 
Yeah. You see Sandy Gully? Yes, ma'am. When it make when it make in you know, the early early um late fifties and finish in you know, the early sixties. Yes. You see right across our piece there, sir, where yes. the people them live? Yes, ma'am. It is not no solid dirt. When the gully dig yes. all of the dirt that is the bank. Yes. In those years, yes. nobody at all could not live there. No. As long as you put up a your oval teen house or you Yeah, yeah, you straighten out the oval teen sheet. Right. And you make your house. Right. They move them off. Yeah. But here what is the problem now? Mm. I frighten when I look when I go to town one long year and I see and I come on the red and I talk about the history of that place. Yeah. Because the people they want somewhere go to live. The government they move them and find them and put them somewhere and sit with them don't live there. The government give them light, give them water, give them lot, collect tax and is a is a river bank. When the rain fall and coming from Stone Hill, where the water is going to go? Just like in town. Constant spring. Right? In in, in Spanish town from three miles, go back to to St. Catherine. Yeah. It was give for the cemetery. For St. Anjo, the people them throw them all and then build up them board out. The government then run them and sell out the wall of the cemetery. And now when the rain start to fall now, then put the water where them feel for put the water. But the water spread out just like the 2000 highway. So yeah. the parish council need to do them work. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Small, I don't know if you have no time. Go ahead. We'll, we'll go for a break and come back. Straight okay, up. sir. Welcome back. Yes, ma'am, you were saying. Yes, sir. You know, say, you know, say some of the people, them, eh, where, where wall certain posts in a Jamaica, tech, Jamaica, so majority of Jamaica people for big head, JPS, right? Yeah. When they say they have, they, they overcharge we, they should have give we a vote to make we go change we money. Because, say, they carried down the bill last month low, this month they carry up high. Listen to this, Mr. Mr. Yeah. You have on the bill, say, X, Factor. Yes. A factor. Yes. Right? That's how they might charge for, you know. Then take out the palm. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. So then put in, then take out the palm, and then put in two. X factor, K factor. We're, we're, we're really, we're, no, not, not JPS. Not JPS, Mr. Smart. I mean, so JPS, right? Have a thing named IPP. And then give you, like, one point. 900% or 300% or 400% they still at it with smartly smart right in a water commission now them still have palm palm was from Ivan mm. we then say them have to fix up them thing and them thing right yeah. and when you hear from the show them still have palm you know they have X factor and K factor yeah. and them are collect for plus if they collect $10 for the water rate, yes. for the dirty water where we dash away, then charge with $10. That is a sewage charge. Yes. So the government needs to step in on these people. They can't say they might help with Mr. Mr. Small and they might destroy with life. So. No, government no need nothing. Government only need to be friends with them. But it's we right need now, it. We need it. Right now, I don't see no sense of having no government. Um, IPPP, a high rate more your bill. Yeah. Tax factor, K factor, he higher than pump, he higher than the water rate, he higher than what 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 you throw. Uh, little by little, we're going to take time to understand how I mean, everything goes. Again, so the whole of the factory then locked down out of Jamaica, right? Plenty of people were used to so can't so. Why the labor? Then they, they, they not say all right then. If I saw the school I do it then, you go a labor office and say, boy, I mean, we go a green pan school I and mean, we take out two dozen clothes or what have you. Sure, we all oh, we can do it. We have people out here who make loads. Go, right? Yeah, yeah. So when you finish the uniform, you carry it in. Why we are taking? Yes, it, 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 um, the government should be able to work some way that schools patronize local people to to um to, 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 to I can't stay along with you, but I agree. It's not the first time you talk about it, and I believe it. It is there's some way that it can work out. Where? We call you back one yes. time tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah? Right, yes, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. 
Yes, hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm saying the same thing that you're saying about those, um, that police business is not the friendly fire. Yes. Because it's, so, it's um, for example, from headquarters. Yes. They said both cars. They should call them and tell them the, the, the color car, the license plate, and all of those things. So how come the two cars turn up on the spot and then they start to shoot at each other? Well, I don't know. Um... I just can't draw a paper on, on the paper is saying that one of the cars was a private car driven by a policeman along with a passenger. Well, I don't know if he also was engaged in the shooting. That's, that's the impression that we got from some earlier radio broadcast that both cars, the police in both cars were trying to clear up this cocaine, that wash, cocaine um, problem that, that had been washed up. So let, uh, let us find out more because if it is the case that both policemen, both in them one car and in a marked police car, were on the same thing, um, how 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 proper is it if if a policeman driving his personal capacity sees somebody um in the course of a robbery being held up and intervene? That is one thing. If a policeman yeah. sees somebody hit down on the road and decide to go help them or to decide to go and arrest um the the the, the, the hit and run driver, that's another thing. But to just join in a cocky and clean up, I don't know. Look away. Yes, yes, I don't know. And the, the final point. Um, the other day, when you were interviewing Free Eyes Widow. Free Eyes Widow, yes. Yeah, um, I heard you spoke about... Hello? Is that... I interviewed her before, but I was at work and I was listening to you And just as she read the part where she said, I put them down on the ground to lie down. Yes. There went the light, so I didn't even get to hear her. Oh, thing. yeah? I'm so oh, sorry. And then, uh, unfortunately, both the original interview and the repeat were done on Fridays. Therefore, you wouldn't hear a repeat in the night. That's what I said, because the night I set up to listen, nothing. So I was so disappointed. But anyway, I heard most of it. But I read, read the interesting part. Yes, ma'am. Is the first time you call this program? Second time, from Lindsay. Oh, Take yeah, ma'am. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, bye. Okay, good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, Jerry. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm okay. Yes. Um, Jerry. Yes, ma'am. Understand that they're going to divest the airport? The airport. The, well, the air, the services at the airport have been divested for some time, I believe, you know. But, but I don't... But I, and I heard Mr. Um, Omar Davis, Davis yeah. say that they, um, they were going to get rid of the airport or something like that. And I'm saying, Get rid of it? You mean sell it cold completely? Yeah. Someone wondering if Jamaicans couldn't, all of us, put some money to buy the airport and stay in our hands. Well, somebody would have to organize us. You know, God, that would be a company. But we need the to government not going. If the government want to sell something, they say we're not going to organize us to keep it. The government not interested in, in organizing us to keep things. But I was saying Jamaicans need to own some of the things then because so, everybody just coming in and buying. No, listen here, no, listen, listen. Um, I agree with your sentiment. Now, to own these things and run them properly. You're either going to be an investor or you're going to have to get some expertise who know how to run it. So the first thing you have to do is organize to get us together, to get the money together. Then you have to go find some people to, who have the expertise to run it properly. So it's a job for you to do and me for doing it. That's a job to be done. We mustn't be sorry for ourselves. Just attack, approach a job. Just like how we should have approached a job for Air Jamaica if we really were serious. And yes, the pilots and the workers of Air Jamaica were serious, but they kind of move late. And furthermore, some unfair um, measures were taken against them, I believe. Oh, okay. So we have to find somebody to organize us so that we can buy the, the, those things? But that is basic um, understanding, basic knowledge. If a, if a set of youth see a nice um, bike or a nice bicycle that some other youths have, and they say, boy, we should have a bicycle like that, but there's nobody to make it. And they say, all right, we can either thief the bicycle. Or we can go buy the bicycle from them. The first thing we have to do is start organize together and uh, keep a dance or sell out some of the delicate Thai plane them them have and get together and buy the bike, bicycle or bike. Because they yeah. don't want to steal it. You can steal it or you can get together and buy it properly. Anyway, this is something that we, I, I think we should really work on. Yeah, man. And I, and you must and try to keep, it's serious thing, you know, we must try to keep in contact with other people who think like us and who are serious. Yeah, man. And who save money. I don't, I don't, I don't keep much company with people who don't save money, you know. Okay. Anybody who don't save money, anybody who spend half everything with them, we name half everything with them. Me and them is friends, but I don't spend plenty of time with them. Because okay. when they name half their money, they're going to want me to buy the next um, food. Okay. So it's not that I'm keeping away from poor people. 
I'm encouraging poor people to say, let us save money, let us not name off everything. Because let us walk, let us walk the next trip and put on the bus here. Look at the one, the, the, the thing that low income used to have, they have. Low income, um, low income? Yeah. You mean the Mr. Ben Monroe thing? Right. No, we need to do better than what that Mr. Ben Monroe scheme. Because I even ran it to it, nearly go down into the shipwreck with that. No, he, he helped push us down. You, so, you are in it too? Of course. I'm glad you escaped, ma'am. Don't, don't go there again. I don't escape. I don't I, I oh. would call it an escape. The point is, remember he won the case, no case of Bishop because of... Yeah, well, I, whether I, I when I, when that, Yes, well, what whether he won or not, you see. Let us try to do better things better than our lift did do. Because it never really lift off the ground. Okay. Um, but I'm saying that we can unite together. And we not, no, we can do it. But we have to start planning and, and start associating with other people with serious. We can't talk all day. We have to talk half day. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Along. Hello. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Small. How are yeah, you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm calling from Chilani. Yeah, true. Which yes, part sir. of the hill are down by the coast? No, I'm living by the um, Brownstone, six miles to Brownstone. Oh, six miles to Brownstone. Yeah, man. That means that me live near Westwood. Yes, man. We are nearby Westwood. Mr. Yeah. Westwood, from Westwood Road. Yeah. Yes, sir. So what am I talking about? Mr. So you know Blake Grove? You know Blake Grove? Blake Grove? Yeah. Yes, man. We know Blake Grove, yeah, man. All right, go on. We have them go together. And the road named Blake Grove Road, we cut through Blake the back. Blake Grove Drive. Blake Grove Drive. Mm. Yeah, man. We passed, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Small, what am I talking about? This is what I want to hear about this man that killed him. Um, the, 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 the sales lady was telling her. The suspect. The suspect. Yes. But the lady was telling Monday. Yeah. But then go find out the lady and the baby. Yes. I, I'm surprised when we didn't see charge him, the, 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 the man as yet. Yeah. So they don't charge him? They didn't know something, they don't charge him yet. That's be, be, because what? Because of, um, they don't put on charge him yet because in the hospital, you know? No, listen here now. Yeah. They, they, they have held him because he was shot, right? Yeah. And that's why they get to hold him because he was shot and couldn't run. That's right. It's not because them find out no proof that him killed her and them hold him now. Oh it's because him couldn't run. Because him couldn't run. Don't see them say under the man's bed. Pardon me, ma'am? Don't see them say under the Under his bed. Well, now them have to hear what him say now, whether him say is, 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 is somebody else do it or, or him admit that okay. him do it. You understand? Or if them that's find him, if them find him with our ID or our wallet or our purse in them, in them pocket. Oh. So, you know, you have to investigate. Yes. So yes, it's not yes. good to judge. We have to judge you know, but it's not good to condemn before the time. Yes, ma'am, some things when I see that in my country, it surprises me. Yes. Because I'm a old man, I'm going to 69 now, and I'm going to see the condition that's going on, I'm surprised to see what's going on now. Yeah. Because the young people in the match of the country, man. The young people, no, sir. It's we, the, no, no, it's we the old people match of the country. We the old people? Yes, it, it could never blame the young people. Well, that's some of them then, because I know I'm not going to sit down. No, yeah. it's but must be the... From born till now, at one time, when you have five, I said, you were a cold call up. Hold on, talk slow, talk slow. From your born till now, is one time what? I go to court, I hear the call, I find it. Call your name. Yes, then I find it. That means you stay out of trouble. That means you stay out of trouble. Yes, man, because me, me, me... But hear me now, sir. Hear me now, sir. You're born 1949. No, man, 19... Well, 1949, Wappy, King and Reagan was already killing dozens of people. And doing yes, all, look here, and they was doing all of what these young people doing now from 1949. Uh, that's not, you never hear about Wappy King? You, know, I mean, yeah, what you never hear about Reagan? Yeah, my word. Then how you are going like says young people invent wickedness? Oh, but you see, well, it, 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 it get out of hand. Out but it was out of hand from 1949. Yeah. What do you mean? Then Wappy King and Reagan wasn't from 48? Yeah, man, that's my, I have to do a continue praying because... No, not only pray. No, not only pray. What we have to do now? You pray to give thanks. Prayer is about giving thanks, you know. Prayer is not about begging shopping lists from God, you know. Prayer is no, to give true. thanks. Prayer is to give thanks that you have the brain and the strength to clear up the situation. That's right. And then you get up off of your knee and go clear up the situation. Me and you. Yeah. And she and she. Well, the well, first time calling, you know, when I call you next time. Thank, Thank, you Thank you very much, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Okay, bye. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning. Good 
Bongo Jerry. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Give thanks and praise to the man, you know. Yeah. You have to hear of his majesty every time for give a blessing and help I and I to go through this, what we are going through, you know, you know? Yes, sir. We have a man in the hills of Belmont, where near Aya. Belmont, now Manchester, which one is Belmont? St. James, Manchester, be here. Oh, yes. Yeah, where, 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 Aya, yeah. They may not know Aya. I suppose to know him. Yeah, Aya, Aya is a man where the pan in back here now where get beaten at the strategy when the government let out the family pan the rest of the man them in a man take up there. You mean in you know? a 63? Yeah. Yes. Then beat Aya from Belmont straight to man take up there and beat him up just to know Jesus, you know? Yeah. Right now in the pan in back. So, it just has a blessing still to him still and you know, I, I am first where I have to sit down with him night and day there. Yeah. Near Aita, you know, Mama Aita, you know, so I have to give thanks to them for life. For yes, help, sir. Help out that Rasta man doing strategy still. Yes, yes. And you know, what we have to feel, we have to see the children, because I and I work, I have to talk out, lick out, stay together. Yes. And do the best so that we can see the children come out of all these crimes and things that are going on. Exactly so. So I and I have a duty as a Rasta man who working hard to us all them things over the years, but to come like a lot of the Rasta man and get tired now this time, you know? Yeah, we say if, if you stay alone you will get tired, you know. But if you if you band together, you will never get weary yet. That's right. So that may I say you no. Know, so may I call upon the Rasta man them and all well thinking people who need and know say I and I have to protect the youth before they turn savage because have to protect, I, I, have to protect the, the, the female them first yes you have to protect both female and male youth yeah you have to protect you have to try do a thing as we can protect all the youth not this time yeah before they reach in a savage savage yeah. race yes, so they can't be bent again yes sir so I and I see few things going on with the youth them from Trelawney to St. James and all about not the country and our way. Yeah. We not we not do enough when the when the when the youth them young. No. Until when them reach certain dimension where they can't turn back no at that time we have to go to start kill them and thing, you know? Yeah. I just ask the government and I and I say, boy the killing we don't want no more the killing, like the killing to hang in or killing to shoot nobody individual. Well like the killing to really cool up and stop and you have to draw back to the whip some Yes, well, with, 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 with our experience, with our experience from 1954 a Pinnacle, 1963 a Caragans, we know that we cannot rely on any government to, to stop not killing and protect the people. Because the government lead it. We cannot rely on them. We have to be, as we always talk from that time, we have to be a government within a government. Don't you know that, sir? Yes. We have to know, be. I, I and I know that. Yes, sir. But I and I, as Rasta... In well, I only general, have to, I only have 30 seconds more truth of some people behind. But I'm glad to hear from you now when you call me soon. Get 30, 30 seconds more. Yes, I and I, as a Rasta, who know his majesty as a government on his shoulder. Rasta should have a government on the, our shoulder to where we can use you Yes, well then, so therefore... Go yes, so therefore they have, we have some work to do that we're not doing then. We have a lot of work to do we're not doing. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We're calling on all the good people who is Rasta and who is not Rasta who knows the positive things to be done. Yes. That we can start link up. Yes, sir. Way. Yes, sir. So give thanks again until... Same way. Same way. Glad to hear from you. Ross Rainbow. Yes, I. Ross Rainbow. Yes, I. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Straight up. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Yes, yes sir. Yeah, Jerry. Morning. Well, go on. I've been holding for some time, man. Well, so, I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad to hear, you know. Yeah, yeah. but you're, you're so much in the man, you know. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, kind of, you know, the, that, that interview you did with, with, with Fry's. Yes, sir. On Friday. Yes. Yeah, I was driving over to Kingston, and believe you me, from the time that incident happened, in the 80s, no? Yeah, 88, yes. Yes. 87, I, 87. Know, right, and yes, there was a lot of talk about what happened and what it, I, I, I am kind of I feel good that you you had that interview with, directly with that lady so a lot of things was cleared up yes, right? yes. As everything is not completely clear but it's much clearer no. it's much clearer yes, now yes, so yes, I can was, see I can see clearly now that the yes. rain has gone and so on yes 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 a whole lot of things that people say you know was was different you know I didn't even know that that free was up at JBC and all of that yeah, but man. I learned on Friday you yes know? sir yes sir yeah man I learned on Friday 
One other thing, Jerry. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes. I, I'm a Montegone. I call it from time to time. Yeah. And I see where uh, successive uh, uh, mayors have tried to, to, to keep the people in the market, to keep them at bay, off the road, off a fastic road, and, thing, and, and yes. the main streets and stuff. Yes. And I see where, where mayor, uh, mayor, the, the mayor started to do some things there, idea. But you know, there, there are May, hard. Mayor things Harris, things Mayor Harris. Yeah, Mayor Harris. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, I just want to tell him this morning and the parish council that they must not let up on these people because listen, me, Jerry, I park my vehicle on the road there several times. Yeah, now. yeah. And come back, come see it mash up with Cadman, mash it up. man, yes, Cadman can be very rough on top. One run, one run over me in a New Kingston yesterday. New Kingston, you know, New Kingston is a posh. Yeah, it's the Boat, yeah, you hear me now? New Kingston is a posh uptown um, business district, you know. I know what you're talking about. And there's a cat, man, I, I sell um, phone thing and run down for me. And, 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 no, no, me I walk on the sidewalk and I have a vehicle. A cat yeah. is a vehicle, you know. And I have the vehicle, yeah. I run on the sidewalk and just run straight. And I look for me and I run straight, you know. And I run it for you. Yeah, because I, as I look for me, I'm saying, I'm not buying no phone plug. Yes. I'm not buying no phone battery, so I'm just running for me and so yes. he's yes. out of the way. Yes. And, yes. Um, so fight, you know? Yes, and, um, I have to stand my ground, you know. Boss, man, I tell you, man, we make a, a lot of these people over on the place. St. James is treated... Yeah, but it's, it's, our people, it's our people still, you know. So we have to make yeah. provision. Just like... Oh, our, you know, one minute, I have only 30 seconds. Just yeah. like how every human being have the right to land, if you're, yeah. going, if you're going to move squat off of people's land, you have yeah. to make the provision where you must get some land. Every yeah. human being have a, a right to land, and the market people have a right now that somewhere must be provided, but at the same time, they must not be on the street mashing up people's care. No, no. I agree with you. I have to go here, sir. Glad, right, glad to hear from you. Keep in touch. Yeah, man. Good, Good. morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Jerry. Hi, how are you doing, sir? When I, morning. When they give an instruction what, from biblical instruction, they must be careful that you're accurate. Yes, sir. You, t- you have been saying that... I'm uh, handing up my book now for corrections. You have been saying that prayer is not about asking. That one, thing, one thing me hear Jesus ask, sir. Give us this day our daily bread. That's, no, the only thing. that's, it alone. that's not the only prayer. Uh, which are which are thing in big one? Going to the epistles that you see where the, the, the apostles teach about prayer that by supplication uh, uh, make a request known to God. Yes. With supplication and so on, right? Not not shopping list. Huh? Supplication, not shopping list. Well, supplication. Not supplication. Talk about request. Supplication is not supplication. You say you must make your request. What is request means? Yes. Asking. Well, hear me now. You see them now. I'll even Paul and them, man. They, them no greater teacher than Jesus. So when Paul tell about his shame for man of long hearing, go on, sir. Jesus here long from yes, sir. No, look here. What is Jesus that? here long from yes, sir, to I said here. Jesus here long from yes, sir, to Let me explain something to you now. All right, you have a minute. Let me explain something to you. Jesus, you see? Yes, sir. He spoke a lot of things in Paul. Them say, you shall not understand them now until the spirit of truth has come. Yes. So the apostles are the ones who translate now when the Spirit comes. You are an apostle? I, I didn't say that. Well, none of them are apostles more than me. To them none of them are apostles more Jesus than me. What meant, I just did a lot of things that we were not commanded to do. We are, what we are commanded to do, yeah. we need to do. Not yeah. what just Jesus did, because yeah. many things they did is not what we are supposed to do. Oh, we're not supposed to do what him do? Not everything. Oh, the only thing me not do what him do is go up on the cross. No, man, many other things. Not well, hear me right. now. You are, you, we, no, you, we said things we are commanded to do, what we are not commanded to do. Yes. We don't May you have to go have a longer time. time. By the way, I hear that you're challenging, um, may you say you're challenging, um, um, the Professor Devonish to a part to a war. Yes, I want, I want to uh, challenge well, I, I him will be time. the referee, Lepu. Huh? I will be the referee. I when, hope so. You're you going to bring him on? You're going, you bring it on. I, I have to go now, yes, sir? No, ask him to come and then. No, I have to go. All right. Yes, good morning. May I keep in touch? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. How are you doing? So, bro? Um, yeah, yeah. Two quick things. Yes, sir. The man who killed Free Eye. Yes. And, and, um, Tosh. Yes. What has it's happened? It's two men in it. It's, more, it's at least two or three men. Yeah. What has happened to the man? One, at least one day of prison. One. At least one is in prison, I believe. Then what did you have to? I'm not sure. I've got to check it out. All right, I want you to check it and hear you talk it, yeah? Yeah, man. All right, the next thing, you said Lee Boyd Malva was, was intelligent. Yes, sir, I'm still intelligent. Yeah. When the man was encouraging him to kill people, yes. you see? Yes. He never had the sense to ask the man, say, the man never did anything yet. 
Yes, um, even the people, the people who do wicked things, the people in prison are more more intelligent than the people out of the road. So wickedness don't stop you from being intelligent. Then when? But how you going to get up and kill a man in every day, you know? No, listen, sir. You, are you disputing that he is not intelligent or he was not? No, a... I'm not disputing that, but I say if he the intelligent that he does, should yeah. I show him, say if he asked the man. It might have showed him that too. Sometimes we resist the intelligent. Well, my Lord, the man. So no, but sometimes, right no, sometimes our mind is telling us the right thing and we still ignore it. Why? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, but, sometimes you see a woman, we're going to trick you. And you say, boy, I don't even care if she want to trick me. Well, yeah, let me tell you the truth. No man can't come tell me if he kill no man. We never do me no. I agree, I agree. If a man, because that little boy should ask the man. Yeah. Because you was a soldier. Yes, but you are a 17-year-old youth. You have to understand that a 17-year-old youth was being through problems. But he did well intelligent. Well, ah, yes, but hear me now. I'll call me back when we have some more yeah, time. Man, all right. Thank you, son. Straight up. Straight up, we have a choice of number. 702 3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 972-2585. 
Yeah. We were operating with our quarter million. And I don't see anything different. But do what JUTC is doing for us that we were doing. In other words, we have a lot of indiscipline people. They should have prosecuted those, but we are, some of us were good operators, you know. Yeah. And they get us out. They play music, same way. Yeah. They run late. They ramp up the bus, same way. They yeah. do everything that we were doing. And, and, so, and, and some, of them are, some of them are very good, but some of them are very disrespectful. Yeah, right. okay. They took us over, and they didn't do us our proper redundant entertainment, so we sued. We would sued. Right, we win the key several times in certain courts out here. And we have to go to Privy Council. Yes. And we have been waiting 14 years now. Imagine 14 years now to get yes. justice. Yes. Oh. Oh, that, is a piece, is a piece, a piece of wickedness, man, where the, where the government um, carry out, carrying out against the people of Jamaica doing business. Yes. The and they are bullying, bullying. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and both, hurtful, yes, you know? and both Pickers Gill and others have then boast about their ability to bully. The rumor is that they want me to, me to die you now. She is in city. Oh. You understand? The one I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Right. I wouldn't be surprised. Looking, you have to be looking money now to, to, to go appeal the figure because they are disputing the figure. 1.85 million. Other courts have agreed that that is the figure. Yeah. And they are disputing the figure now and say that figure is not right. Yeah. And, and for him now to go back now to, to England now to appeal back to the Privy Council. The Privy Council have to say that is the right figure. Yes. And they keep on with it. 14 years, you could have a teenager now since the time we will get justice. Yes. I think that is that is wickedness in a man. Of course it is. And to hear a rumor say they want him to die. They don't want him to get uh, the money. I, w- I, would I, mean, I, w- I wouldn't do I mean, that. would not send me, set me up to call him, but I'm a, I'm a part of the cooperative and I hear these things and it hurt me as a Jamaican. Yes. And, 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 and you know that Millwood and them used to be quite close one time. Yes. So it's a falling out. It, yeah, but I, 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 I am really touched, man, to know that justice, if you work here and break the law. And you know, if, if the government gets justice about any, any other general public, anybody in the government will not justice from, you know. Within two days, I, they have to vacate the house. Yeah. If the government take it to court in our win, you know, within two days you have to vacate the premises. Yes, you know? otherwise I'm taking it away. Exactly. Wait, wait, wow, hear me now. Hear me now. Well, 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 hear me now. Listen, and this, listen. And listen. The call, the call listen. And turn in with us. Yeah, listen. Well, hear this now. You know that you have to band with other Jamaicans to put the government back under control. You know that? You do, you know that? Yeah, yeah. It's well, yeah. all right, hear this now. Hear this now. So now, each group of people in Jamaica must not only look on their interests. Because a lot of people, when they have a bus and they have two buses or they have a car and two cars, they group together and they become a set of big men. And the rest of the people is, um, I don't have anything, you know. I have a, you have a big house or me have a big house up a smoky veil because I have some bus around. And the people, yeah. and the people are down on the ground. That's what we do but, with cooperative, let's say reform the cooperative. Yes, yeah, so, so now you know that for the way that the government has overrun the people of Jamaica, the government has been a rapist. Just like all the men raped those five women in in um in in in, in, thing, yes, sir. in Saint James, and the two parties have been the party to the rape one by one, and they benefit. You see, you see what happened with the JDF t- JDIP thing, where it emerges yes. how much of the how much how much skull doggery and money has been yes. seeping in. Uh, well, there's the same kind of rapes. Well, we the different people of Jamaica, whether you're middle income, high income, and low income, yeah, we have to band together and get government back under control. Just pass down here with the street. Yeah, man. Just go, just go down. down and ah, one more thing. Every minute you see a police right Yes, I know, I know, I know. But one more thing. You know, yeah. that, to get the, you know that to get the public on your side, you see? Where, where, where are the routes that the coast has most around? Not, not in round town. It's, it's from out of town. It's like from the hills to town, right? Yes, sir. Yes, the hills to town, the hill routes. Well, you know that to get the public on your side and to band together in the, with the public to get the government of Jamaica back under control, those coaster drivers that doing some wicked thing and the coaster owners that doing some wicked thing. Yeah, man. Hold on, no, make me, no, no, hold on, make me finish. Those coaster drivers and coaster doctors and backup men and owners that are doing some wicked things, you have to get them under control and you have to police your own self and get them under control. And that time yeah, you, you will get the support of the public. Yes, sir? Yeah, we have a subset of, you know. Eh? We have bad things, you know. What's that? I mean, you have a subset. 
subset, subset, yes. I'm some bad with bad with in well, you but you now have to clean up that in the year house, right? And mm -hmm. then uh, we will support you more and more. Thank you very much. Here, sir, yes, sir. Ca call again here and tell me what's happening. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Half a minute, Mr. Sman. Yes, ma'am. You see, with Malva case, yes, I listened to the interview with the mother. It was taught by the mother struggling. Get the man, the man, she go over there and the man start to help her under certain condition. Yeah. Man help her to get over the son. Man start to support the son, send the son to school. The son take him for a father, then him control the, the, the youth. Yeah. And the last little thing I have to say. Well, the reason why I'm saying about this logo business, you have children who left with you and start a logo office and so, and the money could have flown in a Jamaica. So we go to to labor office, we get a letter, we go to the school, we get the pattern and X Y Z. When the uniform finish, we take it back to the school and them go and collect it. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank man. you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. We soon have our guest here, another very special guest today. But um, take your phone calls in the meantime. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yes, good morning. Go ahead. Are you? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, man. Morning. Morning. How are you doing? Yeah, man. Um, and one more thing on um, Peter Touch. Yes. Peter Touch. That's yes. this one. Yes. Um, written by Herbie Miller. Yes, yes. And it, it, it's very, very touch. You know, you know, a deep. Hold well, on, you're breaking up. Hold well, on, hold well, on, you're breaking up. The article by Herbie Miller and Peter Touch is very what? I said it's very touching, you know? Yes, yes, yes. You know how, how, how thoughtful he was. And let me tell you what thing about that to me, Jerry. Yes. Um, to read that he, he, he was more money than he had ever worked in his lifetime at the time by a beer company yes. in, in Britain, in, in South Africa. Yes. And he didn't. He didn't turn up. Yeah, he was be, he was being offered more money than he ever earned to go, to go and sing in South Africa for the apartheid people. For and the he, apartheid. And, and he said he will not do it. And he would not do it. And, and the other thing in the was about the the, the goal record that he he, he was to um, offer to him in Holland. Yes. And, and he he did not accept it either because the, the conditions under which yes. it was it was. In Afford yes. and, and, and the Dutch, the, the role that the Dutch play so, in the. Okay, now, no. so when you see that attitude of Peter Tosh, mm -hmm. that he refused to take this money to go to South Africa, mm -hmm. he refused to take these nice offers from, from the Dutch um, outfit, this now brings me to a point. Herbie Miller, and, I, and, I, and I, I'll try to contact him because we need to discuss it on, on this program mm -hmm. with, with Herbie Miller. Mm -hmm. Because Herbie Miller wrote that article to substantiate that um, Peter Tosh deserves this national honor, right? Most, no, most hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't need okay. to right. He, isn't that what he did? And he, he discussed the various points upon which um, this, re, this debate has been going. But the main point that I have been making, he has ignored it in the article. I don't know if you understand that. Do you understand oh. that? Well, clarify it, clarify The main it. point I've been making is do not honor Peter Touch with no national honors. Honor him with justice because Peter Touch him don't want nothing without justice, right? And therefore, <laughs> right. the honor that you would honor him is to work on the justice system of Jamaica, right? You hear me? Yes, man. Work yes, on yes, the, and that would be the honor to Peter Touch. And the article has not touched upon that point at all about... Justice being the honor that Peter Tosh needed. And if you see that you rejected this offer to go to South Africa, he rejected offers to go to Holland, don't you see that he would reject any national honor while the injustice is still going on in Jamaica? Well, most definitely. And I think I think, I think he touched on it. No, you know, he, no, he did not. No, he did not. Well, just to really say, you know, he thinks Peter Tosh is a contemplating point to, to think if he would accept this one, he, he said, that at least, the least, he said that. No, he did not. He did not address the point that Peter Tosh must be honored with justice. No, he didn't say that. Uh, he didn't say that. No, he, he did not address that. that. He did not address he, it. He, 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 In he, other he, words, it was substantiating, say, yes, we must give him the national honor. I know Peter Tosh would even change up the, what the meaning of OM to mean some other things. True, true, Pre Pretty true. up a thing, pretty up a thing. Because um, it is the Jamaica government that they want to boost up. And the comrades and the... Um, and the Minister of um, Transport, Mr. Omar Davis, who claimed to be an authority on Peter Tosh. 
How do you know that Peter Dutch come black as he told the Grenadian Prime Minister? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> as, as I said, Peter Dutch will not accept no comrade. Uh, when they refer to him as comrade, they say no comrade. So right now, as a comrade, they might try to nationalize Peter Dutch true, in true. his name. He would reject it completely out of hand. They, they and he would tell them some bad word from here to there. <laughs> not, no, be, no, not, no, not because no, I'm a no, comrade. No, him, don't, him don't fight against comrade, you know. But him also will then don't try to frame it until you clean up the justice system. Definitely, definitely. And yeah. another little point, Jerry. Yes, sir. Um, I'm, well, I know you have got to the Bob Marley views of it. I saw you there. Yes, man. Um, and, and something I don't there drove home a pint for me. Yeah. We are... The, you see when you to purchase the ticket, yes. right at the engine, yeah. and you see that plaque. Yeah. Who does that plaque, the, the plaque speak about, Jerry? What does it read? It reads, I forget the precise wording, but it's all about na, Nina, Nana, Rita. Nana. And you know how great accomplishments and blah, blah, blah. And you know where back plaque is placed, Jerry? Where? And you way to the back. To the back? Yeah, do, do, that where that, that, that photo on the wall on the wall of, of the yes. sun. Yes, and yes. Sun, round yes. going to the back. Yes, yes. And that to me just resonates what I've heard many times yes. about, you know, this figure who just want to big up themselves. Oh you mean you mean you talk about the flag on the ground at the emancipation park? No, 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 Jerry, the plaque. Yes, I That's understand it's a plaque. Man, the... I understand it's a plaque, but maybe it's the same kind of slip. Oh. Slippage and um, put the flag on the ground at the Mansbation Park. Well, well, me, I don't know, but maybe you tell me. Because the whole thing is, you go to Bob Marley Museum. Yeah. The first plaque yeah. and entrance you should you just found that Jerry is about Bob. So therefore, that's why there a Bob lick out against us the other day. Well, well, maybe. Which Bob are talking about? The, you mean the the, the blood the blood sucking parasite? No, Bobby Mugabe. Yeah. Bobby Mugabe who said that um, Jamaican man only want to sing another woman them a rule. Well, 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 maybe, maybe, Jerry, because then, th- All right, me. I have to go. The guest is right at the door. But th- right, think that's... about Bobby Mugabe and whether it is whether he visited the Bob Marley Museum. All right, brother, no. Jerry, give that. I, I'm so sorry, it's not the guest. Another caller is here. So sorry. Thank you very much. Here, sir. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Right, yes, sir. Hello. Yes, good morning, brother, Jerry. How are you doing, sir? All right. Listen, the, the part of me I said, yeah. Peter Turkey, they never want from Jamaica. Seriously? Yes. It's not bad things that go on. It's not injustice that go on. If you look at it from over, from out of port, why would I want it from Jamaica with so much? Uh, a lot, of, a lot of people who riding on his name now, he probably would clap them with them hockey stick. All right, Jerry. Listen to this again now. Yeah. The national anthem and the pledge. Yeah. I, I think this thing I should have printed and put in the minister's office you know, and then read it every morning and every night. And I'll them but but make them sure there. them pictures don't put on the national pledge. No, no, Cause no. Because if it go into them office, they might want to put them pictures on it. No, you better put few pictures on it. No, no, no. <laughs> I decline. All right, Uncle Jerry. Let's make stop it now. Yeah, man. What the rape, what the rape thing we are going on? Yes. I read a book the other day called Cry Rape. You see, enough to make and keep mothers and fathers. Yes. She'll get a reader for the book there. Yes. Yes, yes, that's just my point. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Here, sir. Give back, thanks. Really and truly. I notice, um, I see uh, uh, in, in, the, in today's paper, the observer, first thing on the front page, said that Boot Stewart um, heard or saw of a girl who did brilliantly, she's from Matthews Lane, she did brilliantly in her, in her um, Caribbean C-Sec exams, 10 distinctions. And her mother was saying, boy, she would love to make her daughter get to know the North Coast. So Butch decided to give the whole family a weekend at Baskerville Beaches in St. Mary. That's great. And a picture of them on the front page of the paper. Matthews Lane family getting to see the sand and the sea and the sun at Baskerville Beaches in St. Mary. And I only hope that next year they will be able to visit the Winifred Breach when it is reclaimed for the people of Jamaica. Yes, because they are planning to grab away the Mini- Winifred Bridge and privatize it. That is, that is the only permission from a big man going to make you get to go to Winifred Beach. Is that the moment you know? They are planning that the only time you can get to go to a beach is when a big man gives you permission to go for a beach, go to his beach, or you can pay some big money. Then the next thing I say, I'm um, the opening of circuit. You know, every year, 
you have some different um, terms. You have different terms of the court. I think them have three terms. Like our school used to have three terms. And they have the Michael Mass term opening. That's the, the, the term that go down to Christmas. So circuit opening again. And I see a picture of the Chief Justice leading members of the judiciary and the legal fraternity. That means that the lawyers and the judges into the East Queen Street Baptist Church to worship. To open the circuit. And uh, so they have on them wig. They have on some dreadlocks wig. I know it's dreadlock to the judges put on and the lawyers to, to, to appear wise or to symbolize that they are wise and they are full of justice. Some of the some of the dreadlock to um, some of the wigs, some of the ladies have on um, sister locks on that it will reach a far distance now when you say all judges can wear sister locks and nobody look down upon them. Some of them have on Chinese hair underneath it. I don't mean China bump. I mean a long straight Chinese hair. But them look good now them dreadlock wig and then I see a picture beside of um the Director of Public Prosecutions greeting um, the Minister of Justice, Mark Golden, in the service. But it looked like she had warning for prosecution. Like she had warning for prosecution. I was summoned for dirty dancing. When I say dirty, I don't mean to say it out hard enough. But boy, you, you want to see me, Mark Golden, I get down with the Prime Minister man on the page. I think, I think it was a Sunday paper, one of those papers recently. What them can. One thing about PNP people, you know, they can dance and, and move and, you know, really move with the people. That's why one of my friends said, boy, PNP have the vibes. And that's why they move in more. The, by the way, Mr. Roger Clark is here pleading with the, uh, the consumers to end the glut. To end the glut of pork. In other words, too much pork on the market and not being bought off. So, so Roger Clark, yeah, he said, eat more pork. He said, I must smile, sir. And he said, must end the glut. So you forget glut, no, so eat more pork. Because you know what glut means? An oversupply of um, something that not being consumed. And um, so Roger Clark trying to get the industry moving and get the economy moving. So you must buy up the pork from the pork farmers. I want to, we need to talk to some um, of these artists. And I say, Marcia Griffiths and some other artists. Marcia Griffiths, Queen Africa and um, producer Donovan Ger German of Penthouse Records along with a lot of other um, artists D, D Major, Exco Levi, Ikaya, Sugar, Tessanchin, Queen Africa, Torch, Sherita Lewis and Buja Banton even coming in together and making a record standing against rape make, taking a stand against rape and the headline say enough is enough enough is enough so the artists come together and making a stand against rape a production. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. How are you doing? I'm good enough. Long time. Yes, long time. Now here you are. Just tuned in a while ago. Oh yeah. But um, I I noticed I tried the other day and I couldn't get no sound, so I just cut it off. And that was Monday. Yes, Monday. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we had a problem. Yeah, I know. I realized that. Yes. Uh, the weather. Yes, yes. Yeah, what, what I want to say is something about that teacher that um, got that hurt. Was, and, that was terrorized and brutalized. Yes. A done Robin primary. That, that didn't have to be done. It didn't have to be done that way. They, they need better protection. Of course they do. And, you know, the protection, you can't have one security man. No, secu for, need, for, for a school compound, you, you can't have one security person. You need one to be at the gate to do his job, yes. and you need one to patrol. Patrol, exactly. So. And uh, then again... And you need a female and a male, too, I think. Uh, well, it don't matter, but... No, in a school, I, in a school with girls really? and boys. In a school with girls and boys, I think it would be wise to have a female there. Yes, yes, even then. But, I mean, two males would have worked good. Yeah, uh, man, even two males and a female. Yes. Uh, what I'm saying, it, um, the, uh, the um, security there did not use it, his discretion. Well, well uh, we'd have to investigate how, how it actually went. Huh? We'd have to investigate how it actually went, you know. No, but fr from what I understand, from what we uh, publish, 
Yeah. Um, he didn't, he's not supposed to, during school time, no, yes. you don't send up anybody because no. during school session, you yes. don't send up anybody to a teacher. No, yeah. you, you have to get the permission from yes. the teacher. Yeah, accepting, uh, accepting. Yeah, yes, and, if, uh, and then you're going to in, in, investigate the man and find out who his name and find out what he's about, what yeah. it needs, because during session, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's not, you can't. This, uh, no, it's not. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a doctor's practice. You don't send. You don't let people walk no. into. A, hold on, hold on, no. hold on. The doctor has seen a patient, uh -huh. and even if the doctor wants to see somebody urgently, no, hold on, hold on. If your doctor relative come from foreign, and I'm glad to see them. Uh -huh. the, 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 the relative can't just sail into the office no. while the doctor is with a patient. Oh no, no, patient. no. Well, you're talking my language. This is exactly what I'm saying. So, you know, if only they had these restrictions. And the patrolman now would be able to walk... With a company escort. Yes, yes, and to see what is happening. Exactly, and stay there until the teacher... Yeah, I, 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 yes, yes. Until the teacher indicates that it's okay, it's you okay. That, yes, yes. I'm all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, no, no way yeah. is supposed to stand up. During class time, you can't send people. I, you, I, I agree. Not, not only that. So many places where we enter a security checkpoint, we are subject to a, a pat down mm -hmm. and a search. And these men are able to enter there with, with, with weapon, even with a club, yes, even, even with a stick. You're not even supposed to enter with a stick. Man, I, you know, I, I don't know. It did not so happen. That is but you know, you know what happened at Calabar School recently? No. You have a lot of people invading Calabar and many other schools from time to time, taking control of the yard and hanging out on that tree and doing all kind of things. And some men invaded Calabar recently and um, attacked a security guard and then beat him badly. And, and some of the Calabar youths came out and then mashed them down, mashed down these intruders. Yes. I have to uh, applaud them. Well, what Calabar course. motto again? Of course, because, I mean, the, the security is a part of them. It's a part of them protecting them, and yes. the, I tell you, the youth, them put it on for them, and we have to congrat congratulate I them. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I, I and I want Calabar, for, that is a school's challenge. Yeah. Calabar win the school challenge. Man, you can't come challenge Calabar, sir. So. You need a prize, man. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank, thank you very much, yes, sir. Yes, not at all, man. Uh, we have to wake up. Yeah, man, we'll go for a break. Right, though. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small, who's waiting to be joined by our very interesting guest today, an artist who is also an attorney, with a very interesting topic today, whether pornography is illegal in Jamaica. And it has been brought, the subject has been brought up by the making of a recent so-called pornographic film by a porn star. And pornographic, we're going to discuss about pornography because there are certain things that are adult consumption which is not necessarily pornographic. Anyway, we have some text messages. Cru Critical is saying big up to everyone listening to the radio. That's coming from Critical, with a capital K. Next one. Big up the Macalan, Macalan, M-A-K-A-L-O-N, family from Lucy. They made, they made a promise to donate part of what they made at the gate in their Jamaica 50 function, held at Watson Taylor Park in the, the July. A nice donation was made to, to Lucy Infirmary in September. That's great. Coming from Super. That's great. Next one. Jerry, the government said that LNG will be introduced in 2015. I'm sure that by then, the price might be the same as the present gas, says Patrick. Well, we have to be vigilant and see. We can't just be down at it. Next one. Ross, Jerry, the Ministry of Agriculture said that pig farmers are suffer from low sales. So the people, them are to eat more pork meat. What a thing to say to the nation. What's the implication then? No man, who want to eat pork, eat pork, and who don't want to eat pork, eat pork, don't eat pork. I remember the evening of the Bible, you know. 
um, Peter did say, boy, I'm not eating no pork. You know. And um, one next one did say, well, then, all right, still, you can still stay at the man yard overnight where we eat pork or where kill pork. But uh, you're not eating none. Next one, um, Ross Jerry, the Minister of Agriculture, said that. Oh, yes, I read that already. Next one, Bongo, what happened to the two containers of furniture that was said to be bought by the JDIP money by Mike Henry? Well, then Omar Davis put it to use and he moved it into the ministry, moved it out of the, the, the trailer and moved it into the ministry and put it to use. Next one, Jerry, we don't run China Harbor, so if they don't want, if they want to hire Mr. Wang son, is that conflict of interest? What you, what say you? Well, if Mr. Wang's father is negotiating on behalf of the government and his son is employed to China Harbor, I don't think it is proper for the two of them to be doing business, especially like how they were passing notes to one another, apparently advising one another how to do the thing. It don't seem proper to me. I don't know about you. Next one. Jerry, the audit don't tell PNP what they want to hear. It now suggests that any corrupt practice was carried out. Well, if the permanent secretary or if, they, um, if Mr. Wang overspent money against cabinet war orders, you don't see anything wrong with that? If, the gov if, if, the, if Mr. Wang spent money to the tune of tens of millions of US dollars over what the ca against what the cabinet say, you don't see nothing wrong with that? Next one. Jerry, a man in the USA was eaten by his own hog so tell Roger that is true a man hog yeah because I know hog we, eh, some wild hog in there I mean you know, even some of the one that them says not wild hog but I don't think Roger afraid for that next one government must stop people from selling primary schools they are selling the children and clean yeah, I think I mean selling at primary schools I think I mean vendors outside of the schools they are selling the children and clean things now like what was done down at Marcus Garvey uh, junior secondary uh, technical school or is it a secondary technical school the ministry of education in association with the school has built a whole plaza of properly built stalls inside the school and are going to authorize vendors to sell inside the school going to help them to get food handlers permit going to help them to get uh, TRN cards and all those things so things can be done there's a right way to do things and it's not all bad going on in the country those are good plans and I congratulate the ministry of education Miss Amina Blackwood Mix and whoever from the school got together and made that plan and it seemed very good to me. It seemed like an example for the whole island. So there's ways to do things. There's ways to get together and improve things. Uh, something that um, took place, something that um, was in the paper from several days ago but I wanted to talk about it. Two things. Two things about schools. Somebody was, um, a lady named, writing to the Gleaner, is it? Yes, right into the Gleaner on Saturday, September 29th. A lady was commenting on um, Professor Carlin Cooper's um, criticism recently about um, the, the 1962 currency with the school children on it. We'll come back to that. We have our guest here. Yeah, I'm glad to welcome to Straight Up Today, special guest, Mr. Charles Ganga Singh, who is also a reggae artist known as Advocate. He's also an entertainment lawyer. Good morning, Mr. Singh, Ganga Singh. Good morning, Mr. Small. How are you, sir? Yes, sir. You are, you are the well-known advocate. Uh, I hear you. I hear you. Yes, man. And um, I've heard the name before, and I didn't realize that it was a serious um, capturing of both aspects of your your life, being an artist, yes. and being an artist, yes. and being a... And, um, so you are the match for... What's her name? Alte and Donna. What, which one of them? It was Alte was a... I was a lawyer, no? I has become a lawyer. Alte and Donna, those two ladies from the seventies who made uptown top ranking, or was it? There? Right, right, yes, right. Yes, yes. So you are, and I know there are more lawyers in the in the reggae movement, and whether as entertainment lawyers and so on. Yes, yeah, so, but you have you have been um, you have brought up a point here, which was, which has become topical because apparently recently a well-known so-called porn star, these ladies and some of the men who act in um. Acting in the nude and in and in action in sex in, in movies, entertainment, what they call the blue movie industry. Yes. A well known um, one of these ladies what they call her Haley Sweet. Yes. Um was in Jamaica recently doing footage for an uh, upcoming adult movie which also features Jamaican actors. And yes. and because of the movie coming here, 
tell us what happened because the movie coming here. It was it opportunity was was made available for some Jamaican producers to to get into this um, business. Um, well, I don't know much about it. I actually read about it. I was um, interviewed a few times on issues in relation to the law. Yes. The details of the productions I was I'm not familiar with. Yes. What you're saying is basically what I heard about as well. Yes. So um, pawn um, hear me pawn. <laughs> Mr. Salter, Storm Salter, right. and um, another, another another director, Diavalon, Diavalon Ferran, who is a director, also right. shunned the idea of getting involved. They were invited to get involved into the, in this business, not only because Jamaica is a, a well-known beauty spot for filming movies, but because of the excitement and the sex, high sexuality of the Jamaican image. But they, yeah. both of them have shunned it, saying that they won't get into the porn, um, even though it's a big money-making business. But you have been pointed out that, pointing out that in Jamaica, according to law, pornography has not really been officially outlawed. Is this so? That's right. Now, could you tell um, me? Okay, may, go ahead, sir. I may be wrong, but my understanding that is that there is no set law or regulation that opposes the filming of pornography so long as it's done between adults yeah. and that the persons involved in the filming or of a mental state of mind to understand what they are doing. Yes. And three, that the acts in question are not illegal. Yes. Which is um, one act in particular is anal, anal sex. Oh, in, Jama in, Jam in Jamaica, that would be illegal. That is illegal in Jamaica. So por um, pornography in blue movies that are common often shows anal sex. To perform that in Jamaica would be illegal but yes. but to sell a blue movie in I Jamaica, am not familiar with pornographic films but if that is done in any film that is filmed in Jamaica yes. that would be illegal yes yes now could you tell me the difference between uh, pornography as I understand it is the is the visual depiction of of sex of uh, not only of sex, sexual activity not, not only sex even a, a picture of a naked person in a, in a pose, can, could is is seen as pornography. In certain poses, is seen as pornography. Is it not? That's correct. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, so it, it doesn't have to be a sexual activity, but as long as it is suggestive. That's correct. So now, is there a difference between visual depiction of nakedness or sex and adult entertainment? Is there a difference? Is there adult ent entertainment that is not? Pornographic. Um, I don't know of when they when they tend to speak of adult entertainment, they no. tend to speak of pornography. So I don't know what distinction there, if if any, there is to make. So there is some ambiguity, some confusion. There is there not? Yes, obviously. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, because um um from 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 ancient times, even in the Bible, sexual pleasure is not only highlighted but celebrated in the whole Song of Solomon and many other parts. Yes. <laughs> and there's a lot of tasteful not only sex but nudity in art. I'm sure yes. that I'm sure that the art of the, the great European masters are not is not is not um, classified as pornography. Um no, they don't put it in that category at all. Yes. yes. And uh, is it along this line that uh, both the legal technical line and along this line that you are pointing out. What you are pointing out? Yes, yes, that's correct. Very interesting. <laughs> and very true, I think. <laughs> but but um, could you enlighten people more on the difference between male homosexuality and buggery? Um, I don't think there is a difference. Yes, man, because male homosexuality can involve a partnership between the two males. But uh, I, I can only speak as a lawyer. I know, I, I can only speak as, 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 a, as, a, as, a, as a heterosexual. Okay. So I think we are on equal. I think there's... Yes, you're there, definitely on equal, put in there. Yeah, yes, no, but I don't think... As an attorney, I want to speak to the law. Yes. That homosexuality is illegal. No, sir, in Jamaica, no. What law is there against homosexuality in Jamaica? <clears throat> Sexual acts between two men. That, that, that's something written? Uh, yes, that's something written. 
could you read it? it, it, could it you may not be written in the way I'm saying it. No, I think it is buggery. The penetration of an ear. Oh, the penetration of an the ear. Yeah, yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair so, enough. so, so actually, actually, just along the same lines of pornography, I don't think that um, homosexual is, 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 is illegal in Jamaica. I I, understand, I know, see your technicalities, and I, I appreciate the distinction what you're making, yes. I'm not advocating either poor... I, I know you're not advocating... I'm not advocating either poor or kosher diet or <laughs> any other thing, but, uh, but as you know that the law is a technical subject. Yes. Let's go for a break and come up. Very interesting. Yes, um, it's our, our pleasure to have um, our guest here today, who is both an, an, an attorney, an entertainment attorney, and also a reggae artist, Mr. Charles Advocate Ganga Singh. Now, yes, now, now the, legal, um, the, legal, the legal world is somewhat of an ivory tower. You know, yes, it is. Um, and and it, it, is, it is pleasantly surprising, although it's not the first, that to find somebody who is um, in this ivory tower and yet have them feet planted firmly on the ground in the entertainment industry. Were, were you engaged in um, entertainment from your uh, adolescent? Or? Um, I grew up playing classical music from age four. What kind of music? Classical? Oh, 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 classical. You're, yes. you're a trend? Yes, I was a trained musician from oh, yeah. age four. I stopped oh. it um, from a tender age, nevertheless. Yeah. Strings are, are piano or what? Piano. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And um and then you got in somewhat like like Cat Core, whose mother was one of the greatest um classical music teachers in Jamaica. You you, yes, got, I heard you that. got into classical mu- you got into the popular music. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So so you play an instrument or you, well. No, I I no longer play the piano nor any instrument. I'm just using the voice. Yeah. So you you sing um reggae, I suppose. I sing reggae, um, but some persons don't consider it reggae. Yeah. But I I want to classify it as reggae. Yeah. It's more reggae with a more international crossover. Oh yes, yes, yes. Approach. Yes. So so you are so what, you're the social commentary, romantic music, blues what? Um no, no blues. Um just about the ladies. The lovely okay. ladies okay. I try and sing about at this time. Okay, great, great, great. Uh, one or two social commentaries about life, but yes, yes. mainly for the ladies. Yes, well, I, I don't want to be soliciting, but I, um, I wouldn't mind if you make some of your CDs available to us, because we play good music on this program. I know, I know. I have done that already, but I will definitely arrange for that to be. Please address it specifically to Straight Up Jerry Small. I will, I will. Make, I will make it available to the other people here, but I, I specifically would like it. Yeah, man, very interesting. So so you grew, up, you, you grew up in Kingston or, or in the other part of the I grew up in the ghetto of Alman Town. Oh, yeah? Yes. I'm very familiar with Alman Town. I know you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, man. But in it's very interesting. In the in the music industry of Jamaica, there is some ambivalence because some people, especially outside Jamaica, frame Jamaica as being homophobic. And yet, although reggae artists and DJs lick out against, um, ab- against certain things, at the same time, they are very tolerant because they know that a lot of the p- these people are in their midst and their management and their company. And they will make yes. fun and joke and things, but at the same time, Jamaica not really going to kill nobody over them lifestyle. Uh, not true. Uh, yes, yes. Um, hypocrisy reigns. Yes. But, but, um, Coming back to the, the topic that you you so very interestingly raised, yes. is it is is are blue movies really illegal in Jamaica? So called blue movies. Um, and then we we have to come back to the conclusion, no? Yes. Uh, based on those um issues that we mentioned. Yes. yes. And you actually made an additional point that has actually made me look even more detail in, in, into the matter. Yes. Yes. Because a lot of the um, a lot of consensual sex between males and females in Jamaica, I think, especially coming from people who have travelled and live in other societies, is um, is technically against the law because um, a lot of females <laughs> in Jamaica, especially the well-travelled ones, do consent to to what is technically buggery. But what is more disturbing, or what is more um spectacular is when 
children or or adults without their consent are buggered, and that, that is what it, that more holds right. the headline. Right, that, that, those are the issues, yes. yes. Main yes. issues. Yes, yes. So it, or drugs. Drug, or drugs, or drugs yes. That, that's another important point that you make, that um, that as long as the actors in a, whether it's a actors in a still photography, as I'm a photographer, or whether it is the actors in a moving photography, a, a video or a film, um, whether they are drugged or, or they are in their right senses when they are made to perform these things. As long as they are in their right senses, not overly intoxicated, not intoxicated by alcohol or any other drug, their actions is deemed to be permissible. That's correct. And one may, the, the issue now is who is criminally responsible for their state of mind. Yes. If one is drugged, yes. Obviously, the person who has drugged that person yeah. would be criminally uh, Li- liable. Liable, yes. But well, suppose but somebody. Person, yes, go ahead. Sir. But, but the person who allows himself to also be drugged, yes. he could contribute to a criminal responsibility there as well. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, because, I mean, driving recklessly under the influence of alcohol, you cannot blame the alcohol. You are, no. you are responsible for your I- imbibing. The alcohol. Exactly, sir. Yes. So, so somebody who drinks themselves to drinks themselves into a into a stupor so that they can lose inhibition. They deliberately take two drinks that them can take off them clothes. Yes. What they do when they take off their clothes is still their responsibility. That's right. Oh yes, yes, yes. So you find that if you are defending somebody like maybe a director in a, such a movie, you would have the opportunity to. To cross-examine and, and 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 prove that um, it wasn't the director, but it was Shaggy. I don't say Shaggy. I don't say it wasn't me. It wasn't the director, but it was the actor who wanted to to earn some food and therefore, you know, like somebody impersonating being an engineer so that them can get an engineering contract. But you could also argue that the director facilitated the whole action too. Yes. Yes. Yes, it is very curious and interesting how um, ideas and the law, by extension, can be interpreted, and it's not unfair. True. True. So, so where, are you, True. where are you trained in Jamaica? I was trained in Jamaica for a few years, but I spent my second and third year in Barbados. Oh, yes. 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 And you have practiced what? Mostly in the Caribbean? I practice only in Jamaica. Oh, yes. So what that... Is it by virtue of you having been introduced to music at an early age that, that attracted you to entertainment law? Um, yes, that's correct. Yeah, because that's and a, also financial reasons is a lucrative field. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Which is, um, which is um, that is just incidental. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So, so um, it's very interesting. So, so um, and you know, J- Jamaica is, is a very big and growing field for entertainment law because artists whether you whether you're on the right side of the law whether you want to keep the law or not people really do need um legal representation yeah, that's correct all times yes and it's sometimes it's best to have your attorney before you get into trouble yes so a retainer won't hurt then having an no, attorney sometimes on... a retainer saves a big fee down the road oh yes 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 <laughs> yeah, yes, yes that's true so now, um, so copyright and all those things are part of your specialty. I wouldn't call it specialty, but it's a part of my field. Yes. I am not yet a specialist. Yes, I yes. still have much to learn. Yes. So do do you actually um not being a specialist? Do you actually make yourself available for other legal representation outside of entertainment? Yes, I do. I do a lot of criminal work as well. Yes. Well. So now, um, so it must have been an interesting last two years for you. What with the the, the, the lot of legal activity in, in the enter- attached to the entertainment world of Jamaica. Yes, and I got a few clients um, in the entertainment. Yes, has been somewhat interesting. Yes. Yes, yes. A, a few well-known persons as well. I imagine that in a few years, or maybe now, you will be called upon to even teach. Um, I may be called upon it, but I may not accept that calling. Yes, yes. 
You know, funny you said, man, Barbados, my own daughter, she spent, I think, I had a year or two in Barbados in her course of qualification. And I was visiting Barbados a few years ago. Yeah. And this will interest you, know, because of the entertainment scene. I was passing through the center of Bridgetown there where there's a kind of bus terminal terminal and yeah. a, a lot of um cla- you know, a lot of shops and things in there, karaoke. Watching yeah. karaoke one night and seeing some reggae music and some people singing their the the dance hall thing very well. So I said, yeah. Boy, I wonder if it's Jamaican. And when I see the girls dancing, I said they must they were Jamaican. And standing up watching them thing and thing and little more a man brought I feel somebody brushed my elbow. And there it was, there was a little old man about 70 year old begging me a dance. <laughs> so a little more so almost had to get legal representation, you know. But but I decided to just leave and go back to my hotel before I get in trouble. Oh boy. Um, but, but, <laughs> but this is not unknown in Barbados. Uh, not unknown in many parts of the Caribbean. Yes. Outside of Jamaica, you know. Yes. 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 But but yes. um, but at Cave Hill there. Yes. The, what's that? What's that beautiful campus that? Lovely campus. Yeah, man. Lovely o- view to the sea and all. Yeah, man. Yeah. Overlooking the sea and things. Beautiful. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. sir. So um, how long have you been practicing now? I've been practicing a little over ten years now. Yeah. Um, and I've been just doing the music for about two years plus now. Yeah, man. Yeah, so, so sometimes people don't mispronounce the name. Yes, sometimes they call me um, the true Ganja, which I don't mind. I've been known that for many years. So I don't mind that pronunciation at all. Yes. So nobody no call you Ganja singer? Um, no, no, not as yet. Yes, yes. Uh, they, they, they call me the advocate, so I, I don't have a problem with that. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, I but... actually just got a movie role as well, but nothing what? at all in foreign at all. Oh, yes? Yes, I'm supposed to be a lawyer in a top movie in the UK that is going to be filmed from November to about March next year. A, a lawyer in my a, part will just be oh, in December, though. Oh yes, yes. So you will yes. be you will be you will be represented as uh, as practicing at the English bar. Yes, um, in the movie I'll be an attorney in the English bar. Yeah, but but um, clearly Jamaican or or, or um, Anglo Indian or what? I will be. A Jamaican in the movie yeah. who migrated to the UK. Oh yes, yes. And it's a Jamaican-based movie yeah. of an artist who went from bad to good, yes, yes. so to speak, yes, yes. in the UK. Yes, yes. It's called Life of Foreign. Okay. Yes. I, I sure, I sure it, it, it will make it, you know. Yes, but, I, I think it's going to be. It's going to make it big in the UK and beyond. And, I, and I sh- I'm sure that being an artist, being an entertainer is a good preparation for acting because you have to, you have to play a role while you're an artist. And a lawyer has to play a role also. Right, a lawyer has to be acting sometimes all day in court, even yes. with the judges. Yes, in character and sometimes typecast. Well, thank you very much for having been here, Mr. And it's a pleasure, Mr. Small. Yes, pleasure. Sir, we'll call on you again. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Charles, advocate, Ganga Singh, entertainment lawyer, and also reggae artist. Straight up.
guys. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. And as usual, we have our cultural focus through the music. And today is a very special one. Matter of fact, we're going to, we might want to be able to play a piece, piece of them because I, I want to trace something. And um, I want to trace something on uh, the, the, the artist, the main artist, two artists. But the main artist is Clancy Eccles, who played such a great role in Jamaica music. Now Clancy Eccles um, made this music from him as a teenager, 19 years old. And as he has said, I remember interviewing him in 1999 on another station. Um, and as he said, you know, he grew up in St. Mary. And his father's brother was, you know, a revivalist elder. He used to do a lot of revivalist music. And he was attracted to a lot of this music. And the first music that he recorded reflects this. This first music named um, River Jordan. River Jordan. Listen to Clancy Eccles as a teenager singing River Jordan. River Jordan roll. River Jordan roll. River Jordan, 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 roll. Sinners better repent and pray. Roll River Jordan, because it will be a terrible day. Roll River Jordan, when my God shall pass through this land to redeem His people by His hand. To repent and pray, Lord, River Jordan. because it will be a terrible day. Lord, River Remember now, our builder, our condemn, our dim, even down to spawn. For all River Jordan, for River Jordan, for River Jordan, Lord. Yeah, so you hear the um, you hear the mentor, you hear the mentor influence, and you hear the rasta, hand clapping and beat, and you know the revivalist message in that. Then uh, he made another music that same time, but it wasn't released on radio time two till two years later. But it was a big hit in the dance hall from '59. Never released till '61, and when it was released in '61, came on the radio and was immediately used by a political party in a campaign. The political party to which Clancy Eccles was opposed. Clancy Eccles was a key man in the PNP musical bandwagon later on. But from that time he was um, sympathetic to the PNP. I get this Bustamante to take his music and use it in 1961. Hear this one. Freedom. Bustamante to use it. And it became a word synonymous with GLP. Freedom having to do with the referendum 1961. It was used by Bustamante. Freedom. And this is straight Rasta influence, singing an old-time Ethiopian song. Say, go ahead, take me back to Ethiopia, and um, one day I'm going to freedom. All I want is freedom. The same set of Ethiopian music that um, Earl Rasta used to sing. Listen, freedom that was used by Bustamante. <laughs> Oh, oh. 
This is one of the earliest ska recordings in Jamaica, a direct ska from 1959. Just like a little more piece side for you, the ska. Straight plain ska from 1959. Freedom. Yes, I remember I used to get in a trouble at school, you know, because when, when lunchtime and break time come, you know, we are, we are, we are mash up with this a beat rasta drum. And I sing this music, and we are sing about freedom, and I lick out and say we are black youth. I remember myself and Wayne Wright, and Norman McDonald, we used to clap the desk and play the Rasta drums and them kind of way. And people are called Rasta before we even know that we are Rasta far. Right? Well, you know. Clan Circles now develop as a powerhouse for the PNP campaign, especially from 1969, 10 years later. When they start to coordinate the music for Michael Manley's campaign, a two and a half year campaign. Michael Manley started campaign for the 72 election from 1969. As him father dead, September, as the funeral done, him just jump on a plane and fly go straight to Ethiopia. I'm going to tell you more about that. He fly straight to Ethiopia and reach Ethiopia before Shira. Shira go through Vatican all kind of different places around about. Michael Manley fly straight to Ethiopia. And the race was all over. You hear the music where here one of the music clan circles take on boost Michael Manley now. The Rod of Correction. I say heal that man. I saw. Lad wife turn a pillar of sand. Lad wife turn a pillar of sand. Lad wife turn a pillar of salt. Down in Sodom and Gomorrah, Father, burn him in a Sodom and Gomorrah. Burn him in a Sodom and Gomorrah. Burn him in a Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot five turn a pillar of sand. King Fear of Hammy was drunk. King Fear of Hammy was drunk. King Fear of Hammy was drunk. Yeah, the King Fear that he's referring to there now is referring to to Shira, Prime Minister Shira, King Fira. And then now when you hear my talk about say the next music when I'm say Fira in the yard in the garden hiding, that is Siaga that I'm refer to. But it's not in the same tune. Just a little more peace I go on. Well, all right now. Hear this now. In the campaign coming up now, Clancy put in a piece of Michael Manley's speech. I hope it's the right selection. This is now version 2. Power for the people version 2. Yes, sir. Let your Clancy now. He make two versions, but this is version 2. When bring in Michael Manley as a DJ. Listen to this. Jamaicans one and all. Right now, we present the leader of the People's National Party, the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Let's hear it for Michael Joshua Manley. Remember, you know, this is, this is why I'm put out from 71, you know. That time Michael now win yet, you know. But Clan Circles as the DJ, as the MC, introducing the DJ, which is not Michael Manley. Hear it again. I'm beginning to, yes. Jamaicans one and all, right now we present the leader of the People's National Party, the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. Let's hear it for Michael Joshua Manley. Hear that man. Let's 
anxiety and crisis because we are failing to recognize the primacy of the human element in what we do. The failure to establish priorities and the failure to define within the society what we are trying to do with independence has created a backlash of disillusionment. We have a government that is more concerned with holding power than upholding principle. We have gone beyond the double standard into the world of the all-purpose standard. I warn this country that we are heading for an explosion because the faith of the people is running out. What we need is to proclaim a set of principles and live by them. Only a just society can be viable because it is only justice that endures in human affairs. Let our hunger for more wealth always be matched by our zeal for justice and our determination to bring a measure of that justice to every man. Government dares to talk of sharing the wealth when our conditions might be better described as spreading the poverty. Power for the people. Yes, they need it. Power for the people. Let them have it. Power for the people. We are a country without a conscience. We have lived with suffering for so long that our very souls are hardened to indifference. A nation grows great through economic strength, but it grows greater through moral excellence. Every act of corruption means that something has been done in the government and management of a country that ought not to have been done. The danger in Jamaica today is not that there is widespread corruption, the danger is that we are beginning to take it for granted. And the most insidious and dangerous of all forms of corruption is that of graft. Power for the people. Yes, they need it. Power for the people. Let them have it. Power for the people. But must I? Power for the people. Yes, prophetic words by Michael Manley. And some of the prophecies still coming true. Now, Maxi Romeo did play a major part. And afterward, him got in trouble with Michael Manley. But hear this one. This was one of the ones that scored the most points. Let the power fall on I. Because remember, from 1969, Michael Manley had assumed a lot of Rasta language and Rasta uh, iconography. Including the picture of Isla Selassie, the pictures of lions and the pictures of... Rastafari and of the powerful Navarre and I. Ra- Max Romeo, let the powerful and I.
Yes, man. Maxi Romeo and then a little more after a year of two of Michael Manley Reggie. Maxi Romeo go make a music say, you're wrong, Joshua. You're wrong. And he got in trouble with Michael Manley. But you know, say, it was Michael Manley never really overcoming. But uh, even Bob Andy got in problems with Michael Manley when him play, when him sing some music that Michael Manley perceived that it was going to damage him. But now the greatest one of all of these music, of all of the political music um, in scoring points, the greatest one in scoring points was this one that was played by our guest recently, Neville Martin, The Message. And sum up, um, I have something to say afterwards. And sum up all of um, the success of that musical campaign from before the election and right leading up to the next election. Before the 72 election from 69 and leading up to the next election in 76 when this music was made after the in the state of the emergency. The message, Neville Martin preparing for the 1976 election. The message, listen to it. And this is referring to the fact that Siaga never born in Jamaica, born in America. At the same time, Neville Martin never pointed out say one of the battle axe and sh- riding shotgun for the PNP was Dudley Thompson never born in Jamaica neither. But this is the effectiveness of the good use of music in politics. Come again. My So never Martin is naming out all of the different programs that the PNP had put into into practice. Some of them were very popular and some of them were very useful. So they are he's naming out all of the programs. Juke them with different things, you know. Jamal, teaching adult people who couldn't read and write to read and write. Juke them with land lease, making people get land for lease and bill house for themselves. Juke them with the pioneer corps, going away and getting to get some training and come back and do some work. See if you can catch it back at that party. The program, I'm listing out the programs. <laughs> Socialists are no fool. Shoot them 
Yes, and you know the heavy man as I'm saying, juke them with the man as I have the man man as that was the state of the emergency. State of the emergency under which that election was held, 1976. Same time Bob Marley gets shot and leave Jamaica. But you know, when you take up um, certain projects and when you take up the reform of a country, you have to carry right through. You have to carry right through in the right direction. If you don't carry right through, it will come like you lose. If you don't carry right through. Yes, we'll go for a break, straight up. Welcome back to Straight Up. Good morning. Welcome. Hello? Hello. Yes, sir. Wagwan. There. Yes, sir. Woman said to Lepo. Yes. They are not our leaders. Yes. We pay them. Yes, yes. They are our servants. Yes. And for the most part, that is why the thing is called the civil service. Yes, sir. Civil service. And minister, the word minister means servant. Good. Yes. So, and, and we're not going to treat them bad now. We're not, tr- we're not treating them bad. But look here. No, stop right there. Yes. We pay them very well. Very well. Right? Very well. Where if they're walking down the street yeah. and book the tour, yeah. the air ambulance is on its way already. Yes. Good? Yes. You... Get your foot chopped up in an accident down the road, yeah. and you go down so you go dead. Yes. Right? Yes. So they are not our leaders. No. Because when I am my own leader. Yeah. We're not looking for anybody to lead us anywhere because wherever they lead, we have to follow. Yeah. No. I'm governance, Jerry. Yeah. Um, the, 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 uh, you talk about the home guard and things. Yeah. Is mine. But when we see now a lot of civil society groups yeah. and entities need to get funding from the government. And um, when we say funding from the government too, and the pri- and the private sector, you know, yeah, because you have a lot of civil society groups who who already are do some amount of work, yeah. you know, yeah. out of them own interest. Yeah, it is in our interest for the government to spend some of our money. Yeah, on these groups. Yeah. Help, help to fund them so that they can do better what they are already doing. Uh, yeah, and, and, and a, lot, a lot of them are doing the work that we are paying government to do, but that the government is not doing. Ah, uh, thank you. You know, if, if we can reduce a lot of the government agencies that only set up to create jobs for the boys and the girls yes. and fund civil society groups yes. I, th- I think we, you know the money the money would would be better spent yes you know I think the government pulling out of the the, 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 the the LNG thing them not pull out what do them say no them not pull out no Paul will not say them not pull out you know that's why it's that's why he waited to make that's why I'm never, I'm saying never make any comment because I wasn't pulling out. Yeah, but for, for me, a gov- government need for focus, you see, for justice. What, I'm, what I believe is that he wasn't getting enough full support. And furthermore, probably the IMF did have some stip- stipulations about whether it can work or not. And yeah, so. But, but, but let, let us see how it unfolds. But we have one more minute. Well, to me, a man who uh, produce electricity... Go source your material and come with it. What me must do 
is open up the market to competition so that we can decide, we consumers yeah. choke city. And like, like you, what we need to do is arm ourselves with more and more knowledge that we can put on more pressure about. Yeah, it. decide yeah. how much we going to yeah, fight man. for. We have, a, we have a minute left, God. Yeah, give it up. Go on, man. No, may I say we, the consumers must decide how much we are buying for. Yes, yes. And not them selling how much them selling us, selling it to us for, you know. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, man, give time. All right, thank you very much, here, sir. Yes. We have some um, text messages to read here, and remember that we have to go through that very interesting and useful um, chapter by Dr. Mar Mar uh, Marcia Forbes streaming about the social media next text message it was obvious from the last intake of stu students over at norman manley law school that the powers that be don't want to take so many students for fear of watering down the profession whittling away of its so-called exclusivity funny enough he was aware of the sentiments shared by some that with the increase in the number of persons doing that degree some of us it is it was said upon completion we'd be working out of our trunks, out of our car trunks. Now I was peeved at this comment, but quickly dismissed same in an effort to convince myself that there must be a way after completing my studies. I would like the powers that be to have an open mind and frank discussion about their plans regarding admission of additional students to the law school. Next one. Jerry, tell Wanga that the PNP are so incompetent that they can't even think of a deal with the IMF. Next one. Morning, Mr. Small. I'm a third-year law student at the Faculty of Law at UTEC, and I was buoyed up by the representations made by Professor Vashani when he had a meeting with us, with us the students, about expanding the law faculty to accumulate, accumul accommodate an additional 140 or so more law students over at Norman Manley and, and Law School. Now I'm disappointed, worried to say the least, that his plans have been shelved, scrapped. Yes, sir. Next one. Jerry, every, every, one, every time I see the young girls, I ask them what they want to become in the future. They say they want to be a nurse. So I'm asking Mrs. Simpson Miller if, if we should build nursing school or prison. Next one. The two political parties rape Jamaica and give it AIDS. Look around. Sores are breaking out. And God able to cure it. Out. God able to cure it, but only if we believe, coming from Globion. Next one. Jerry, from the rain in Dallas Castle. St. Andrew, we don't see Damien Crawford. It's a shame on him. We don't want him to be OMP again, PNP supporter. Next one. Hi, Jerry. What people want to do in their private, in my view, is their business. Porn is a major industry, industry which, which we can stop it, employ many. Which we can't stop, I suppose. It employ many. What our men must do is, is to regulate their behavior and limit their drinking and smoking intake. From Natalie of Winter, Natalie G. Winter, Washington Gardens, Kingston. Thank you very much. So, small, do you think a female who went through gang rape can ever function like a normal person again? Yes, I believe so. But it depends on her response to care. That means she have to get care and proper treatment and how she responds to it. It depends. I believe she can make it, but it depends on how she responds if she get care and proper treatment. Next one. Jerry, your program is the best college. Keep it up. Big up to Devon Weller out of Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth. Yeah, man. Next one. Ross, Jerry, I convinced that the PNP and JLP don't want to see black people become independent. Every little thing we black people to do bet to better ourselves, them fight it down, coming from Chris and White House. Next one. Jerry, I make my blood run all over my body when I hear that music. I used to love it when I was a child in 1976, coming from Cherry. Okay, Cherry. Go play Cherry or Baby for one of them there. I hope Cherry is a girl, and I trust so. Next one. Jerry, can you please explain what's happening with the CAP program and the Jeep thing? What will happen to the CAP? All right, tomorrow I had something to say about it, but tomorrow we can spend more time on it. Uh, Jeep, I don't know if the CAP is the Jeep. Hope CAP will fly off. Next one. Jerry, God know me fed up and frustrated. Months and top of months I've left the University of West Indies and I can't get a job. Something must be done to fill the gap and help the tertiary students, especially because most of us have student loan to pay back. We need help. So we're going now, we're going to do this after. We're going now to Miss um, Dr. Marcia Forbes, uh, Dr. Marcia Forbes insert about streaming, chapter six.
This excerpt is one in a series from the book Streaming, Social Media, Mobile Lifestyles. This book, written by Dr. Marcia Forbes, was published by Phase 3 Productions in May 2012. It will help you to understand how young people are using the internet, social networks, and cell phones, as well as what they make of these technologies. Facebook was less intuitive than I had anticipated. Why did I automatically become the friend of everyone who asked to be my friend, and whose request I accepted? Is friendship always reciprocated? Not in real life. In the early days, I rejected all Facebook friend requests from anyone I did not know. But it bothered me that those rejected might think me rude. After all, having managed a national free-to-air television station in Jamaica for several years, many persons knew me, although frequently I did not know them. Even now, several years since leaving the station, in face-to-face -face meetings, Strangers seem to care enough about me to express warm support. What if some of them were those I was ignoring or rejecting on Facebook? Then, there were the young people I met through my various lectures and presentations. They sent friend requests as well. So, by August 2010, I changed tack and started to accept all friend requests. I also revised my views about Facebook seeing it not as my private domain, which is how I felt at first, but somewhat like a public billboard where all friends could post. Within the parameters of good taste as defined by me and the law, let all ideas contend, I decided. Truthfully though, I hardly ever found time to read the constant stream of postings which flowed on my home page. On one occasion, I accepted a request and immediately saw a stream of distasteful, sexually graphic discourse appear from this newly acquired friend. He was immediately blocked, the only Facebook friend with that dubious distinction up to that time. In retrospect, I wondered how many crazy posts may have streamed down my wall and what others who took the time to read them may have thought and may continue to think of me. Although this was not of enough concern to cause me to stop accepting friend requests, it led me to consider the sort of stress Facebook could bode for adolescents who struggled with accepting or not accepting a friend request. Sherry Turtle's book, Alone Together, published in 2011, after my immersion online, helped to put a fresh perspective on the issue of Facebook friends. As she notes, quote, Facebook is a world in which fans are friends. But of course they are not friends. They have been friended. That makes all the difference in the world, end quote. I like Turtle's distinction between being friended versus being a friend. It does make a world of difference. However, the distinction does not erase issues as to the appropriateness of being friended or friending in relationships with power differentials, such as between teachers and students, and bosses and their employees. That was an excerpt from Streaming, Social Media, Mobile Lifestyles, read by its author, Dr. Marcia Forbes. The book is available as an ebook via Kindle and iPad, and in hard copy. Yes, we'll go for our break, straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. You know, we we are waiting your calls. I thought I was going to say something here. In the meantime, we're calling. The public defender, you know, um, there were some comments by uh, Ms. Carol Narcisse and Ms. Uh, Suzanne Goff of Jamaican for Justice and the Civil Civic the Coalition by Ms. Carl, about the public defenders, um, you know, the lack of the report on Tivoli and so on and so on. The public defender, 
does not want to make any comment, does not wish to make any comment on the Tivoli report, until the report is, is in. And, um, and, and, and curiously, you know, I'd been commenting about, um, you know, how A.J. Nicholson, John Jr., and Omar Davis, among others, have been saying that the parliament is the highest court in the land and therefore nobody can overrule them and they make their laws and so on and so on. They are a legislator and they are not a court. They are not a court. And as the public defender has enlightened me time and again, in Britain, the parliament of Britain is the highest court in Britain. What with an unwritten constitution, there is the highest court in Britain. In Jamaica, where there is a constitution, the Parliament of Jamaica is neither the highest court in the land, and neither is it a court at all. It is not a court, and we will not be misled. Misled. So there is not leadership, it is misleadership that they are providing. They are not our leaders, and the Parliament of Jamaica is not a court. It is a legislator. legislature, it is not a court. We have some other things to say, including um, happy birthday to Akil Young. Because, you know, Monday when it was his birthday and I sent greetings, it was hardly being broadcasted. Akil Young's birthday. Akil Young, the son of Amber Brown Small. And I know Amber, her, his mother, it's a celebration for her because she gave birth on that day. So the mother celebrates as much as the child on the day of the birth. And his father was so happy on that day. Craig Young, father of Akil Young, mother being Amber Brown, Amber Small Brown, Akil's mother. And Kiva, Kiva's who, whose birthday was last year, last last month, September the 27th, the Thursday, her birthday, um, Kiva Small Alberga. But her day was the 29th. There was a celebration of her birthday on the 29th down at the, at the home that she designed for her father. Now I was saying it's so great when you have children for whom you have provided so well, you have provided as you should, you have not done them a favor, you have provided well, but it's well done, but you're supposed to do it. Although it is well done, you don't have to really boast about it. We don't have to boast about what we have done with our children. We're supposed to do it, but it is good when it is well done. And it's so good that you have a child, that you have provided so well for that child, that that child comes and improves your quality of life. Because here it is, Kiva Small is an architect, and such a good architect that she has designed a purpose built house for her father that improves his quality of life, quality of living and it's great, you are doing and, it, and this is done in his lifetime so your child has been well taken care of acquires skills and uses these skills to improve your life, so there it is, she has designed a very great, nice house and very great house, state of the art house for her father what better way to celebrate your life than doing such a thing so it's great when you're celebrating your life Celebrating your birthday, celebrating your life, and you can celebrate it in the building that you have made that is improving the quality of your family. This is what family is about. It's a true celebration of family. Congratulations to Kiva Small Alberga. And so it is her children will be well taken care of, are being well taken care of, and will improve her standard of and quality of life in her lifetime. And they have already done so. Thank you very much. Yes. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hi, Jerry. Hi, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm glad to tell you. Fine, thank you. Uh huh. And I'm um, saying hello to the staff of 93. Yes. And to Jamaicans and their friends, wherever they may be. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, my concern this morning, you see, yes. is um, the type of food that we're getting in the supermarket to buy. Supermarket you know? food, yes. Yes, the um, the um, ground provision. Ground provision, yes. I tell you, Jerry, I don't know, the, the yam, something is wrong with the yam. Or that, um, the, the oranges nowadays, they are not fit. Not what fit? They are not fit. They are not fit for yeah. human consumption at all. So why you don't go to market instead of supermarket? Very, you know, um, big yam, you know. Um, it is a better idea, yes, but, um, you know, sometimes, you know, you're not able to get to the market. You're not what? Hold on, you're talking too fast, Mom. Sometimes you're not what? Sometimes you're not able to get to the market in time you need, you know, you run out and you need some. You mean the, your supermarket is nearer? Nearer, nearer. But there are a lot of higglers on sidewalk along Windward Road. Jerry, I don't live that side there. I, I live away up in the top of the job, Tim Terry, or in the hills. In the where? Tim Terry, we in the hills. What do you call it? Tim Terry. St. Cherry? Tim Terry, Tim Terry. Tim Terry, that's near where? 
You know Tim Cherry, up Tim Cherry, down Tim Cherry. Or the, or the whole time Tim Cherry, oh, you're kind of disguised. <laughs> it? it's, 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 it's Jack and Jill went up the hill, and Jill fell down and broke her crown. Broke his crown, right? Jill came tumbling after because Jack Oh, Jack broke him crown, oh. Yeah. And, and Jill tumbled. Boy, Jack must glad yeah. when Jill tumbled. Yeah. Or it worked, it, it worked the crown breaking. <laughs> All right, have a so, you, yeah, you know, and the oranges are not that thick, you know, the, the, um, the Parson Brown, the ones called the Parson Brown. Parson Brown. Usually, usually green. Yeah. But sweet. Yeah. But what they're having in the supermarket, what I'm seeing in the supermarket now is that the, 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 the green oranges, you buy them, and they're young, they're not thick. Well, you're still seeing Parson Brown in the supermarket? I don't know, because I, I, I thought about the green, green skin oranges with the Parson Yeah, but it's, brown, it's, it's not Parson Brown you're seeing. It's not Parson Brown no. at all. The orange is not fit, the grapefruit not fit either, and this is what we have to contend with. Yes. Now, I, 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 at my age, I love yam, I love yam, tell the truth, I really love yam, and it's yeah. happy yam, I just love yam. Yeah. I, I went to the supermarket last uh, Wednesday, and yeah. I just love the piece of yam. Usually what I do is cut it, you know, yes. because when I'm abroad, I, whenever I go to the supermarket, to the, the store, to buy, to buy, to buy yam, yeah. I always take, cut it yeah. to make sure that it's good. Yes. But I don't know what got into my head last week about this piece of yam. Didn't cut it, to, 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 you know. Because yeah. usually if you cut it and it's getting reddish, you know, it's yam. Yes. It's not but look here, I, I, I'm short of time, but let me tell you this now. Mm. Just spend the time and start go to market or go to Stone, go to Stone Hill Square. Mm. Or go, go on. Um, in that side of the world. At all. Red Hill Square. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to feel out where you live, but you know what I'm mean for now. <laughs> go to Stone Hill Square. Yeah, there's too much violence in the Red Hill Square. I don't even want to. No, man. You go buy some market food in the Red Hill Square. No violence in the Red Hill Square. Yeah, man. Just, just, just patronize, the, patronize the ground food and the eagle of them. You know? Yeah. I, have, I have to go here, man. Okay, Jerry. Love you. Me too. I mean, love okay. the ground food too. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Yes, Mr. Small. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Yeah, boy. You left me in a suspense, man. Oh, oh. Where do others reach Bob Marley and when them shot Bob Marley? Remember I'm missing a tune. I love your container for a little. All right, I'm going to resume. Ambush in the night. Ambush in the night, yes. I'm still with the history. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is the same year too, you know? Same year. Yes, and I'm going some more with when I'm saying I'm in the work for um, like seven people. Now you know work for CIA. That was a year before, 1975. Yes, so I didn't spot right the one going on. Right race. Right race. Right race. So I can't see no point that shot me. Yes, sir. So I said, when do I get that? Well, I, I don't want to make no promise because I'm not a politician. <laughs> I don't know his theory that you know his theory. I used to let some man on the politics. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I don't want to promise it neither. Well, well, in like we know, man. Yeah, man. So we're going to line up everything. Just come to school every day. <laughs> and then know me, me, and then know me learn from you. Learn from me, or you may learn from someone. No, each one, you? each one teach other one. The other one, let it go. Which one? Ambush in the night. Ambush? Yeah, when you say all guns here, me not. Yes, man, we're going to discuss it at length, man, at length. On the CIA one. Yes, man, that are, that are rat race. Yes. Yes, sir. I didn't part the more you're going on now. Yes, yes. You can't Got to go, here, sir. Story, yeah, man, yeah, man. All story, all story. Thank you very much, yeah? Story, yeah, man. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Um, We have to read a couple more text messages. Jerry, you met me get up and put on a piece of dancing a while ago. I can remember days back in a central Kingston that coming from Sweet Pea. Well, thank you very much for that, Sweet Pea. And uh, one more. Sweet Pea said that. Big up, Jerry. Love your loads. Well, thank you very much. Um, next one. Greetings to Pastor Mitchell from the Catterwood New Testament Church of God in Catterwood, St. Elizabeth. I think I only said, um, I think I only Trillion of Catterwood. Anyway, and greetings to Sister Diana Dean Smith. A good woman, mother, wife, and a caring child of God. Lots of love. Next one. Jerry, pig farmers are suffering. The pigs are getting too big. In the pens, and feeding, and feeding is expensive. Please call to the authorities to arrange to help local farmer. Next one. Congo man, coming from Congo. Oh, Congo man is the Bible word of God. What say you? Can a spirit talk? What say you? 
Yes, well, you know, to recommend themselves, to recommend themselves, some people put all things on it, like say, Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee, because that recommend the coffee. And some people write in, and, and some man say, what? Well, a boom. Some man say, boy, my tune a boom, or my roots a boom. Some man call them, 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 them roots front end lifter, promising you a lot of things. And some have an uh, energy drink and promise you a lot of things. So there's a lot of good words and good stories in the Bible. And a lot of people make recommend themselves in the Bible and a lot of people recommend some of the writers of the Bible. So me and you can taste it and test it and we can know and recommend what good. I want to thank my producer, Tanya Richards. I want to thank production assistant Whitney Smith, broadcast ke technician Kevin Williams, the news and sales team. For comments, questions and feedback, you can email us at straightupjerrysmall at gmail.com and on Facebook at facebook.com slash bongojerrystraight. Thank you very much. <laughs>